I, I think kind of the undervalued or under not talked about you know Timmy Moskov has been an effective player in this league and, and he's a he's a big guy um, that, could, that, that, can, that can fit in how we how we're going to play the game so that's important you know we got Booker obviously we put Rondi at the four um, I think Sean and I are talking that talking about the roster and how that's all going to fit in free agency um, we're heavy in those discussions right now but uh, we do understand we have a lot of, a lot of guards right now do you stay in touch with him at all from from Nick Davis? I mean uh no no I didn't okay. didn't really so but you know, again I had breakfast with him yesterday I was like you never left like I just <laughs> we just you, you can see he's just a direct guy this is there's, there's no BS there he's uh, he's up front and he's he's an elite elite worker I'm probably the, one of the best workers I've been around in this league. Mm -hmm. I think it does. I think guys, guys, guys say, "Hey, man, I want to, I want to prove my worth and prove that I'm, I'm still a good player in this league." And 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 that's why these guys are here. I I, I know Timmy. He's 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 not going to do it with big bravado, but he's going to do it with his work. And and uh, um, I'd be surprised if he didn't, you know, show everybody that uh, you know that he's worth that contract. When I got traded, I was like, "Okay, you know, let's let's think about it." Um, how is the new team? How is it gonna feel? Like what the teams try to do? Uh, all this question you ask yourself, uh, like why they trade me, what they want from me, and all the stuff. And uh, then you start speaking with coaches, with front office, with everybody. You gotta answer all these questions. So, um, like I say, just looking forward. Well, I think you go back to his time in Ohio State too, and you talk to all the people that have been around him, those coaches. You name it, and you get a real feel. For, and this is just not just reflective of D'Angelo. This is on every person that we try and bring in here. We we hope that our intel is correct. Um, we hope that we ask ourselves a lot of those questions, like how is that going to affect the current roster of guys. Um, you know, we want to be very cognizant of that. You know, like if we're bringing somebody into our family, they need to fit with the group that we sort of have, and and we're comfortable with that. Um, we obviously had a discussion with D'Angelo after the trade went through. Um, or it was about to happen, it had been announced, and we felt very comfortable with, with him. And again, I said before, earlier that um, you know, I, I met D'Angelo a couple years ago as well. I think this trade will help him to make sure he got the right direction to move forward. We, we can learn from each other. <laughs> you know, I haven't really had the opportunity to sit down and talk to him about it, but um, he's a, like I said, he's an established guy in this league. And, that's, that's everybody's goal to be established. In this Guys like the Angel, like he is already good in basketball. You know, he got talent. So, but um, for him, I mean, he got to work hard to uh, become like really big time. So, but uh, I think he got everything.